Welcome to our workout, Animal Flow, Let's Move. So we're going to run through basics of Animal Flow Level 1 positions, which are Ape, Beast and Crab, A, B, C, Ape, Beast and Crab. We're going to work on the static positions, then we're going to travel in those positions, and then we're going to work on some loaded beast, and I'm going to teach you how to move out of the loaded beast, and we're going to get our heart rates up. So we're going to use a timer. The timer is going to have 45 seconds on, I think, or 40 seconds, and I can't remember how many, but we're going to work for a period of time, 40 to 45 seconds, and then we're gonna have a 20 second rest. If your wrists are aching in between, you wanna do this wrist relief stretch, but I'll talk you through that. Make sure before this workout, you've done the wrist mobility stretch warm up very important. Have you got your water? If you have, let's get ready to go. We're going to start in an active beast. So for this, for this position, we are going to have our hands beneath our shoulders. We're going to spread the fingers. We're going to make sure the arms are really strong. So we want to screw the elbows round so that we lock the arm out. And we're going to have the knees as wide as our wrists. So they're in line with the wrist and then we're going to just bring them in as touch so that when I draw a line up with my arm it hits my belly button. Tuck the toes under and we'll get ready to go in three, two, one and elevate. Now you just want to elevate the knees half an inch off the floor so you can see my shoulder blades are pulled down and back. Don't sit back in the heels like this, you want even distribution of the weight. You want to make sure that through the two feet and the two hands, you're evenly distributed. The knees are just hovering off the floor. So you can see my back is like a tabletop. My neck is long. I'm keeping a neutral spine. And I'm really trying to work on even distribution, pulling the core in, driving the heels away from me. And release. Yes. So release your wrists if they're feeling a bit tired after that because we're going to work on a ape now so for an ape if you can get into this position that's great so if you can sit down with your heels down on the floor that's great if you can't do this without your heels coming up just come a little bit higher like this we want to make sure our heels stay connected to the floor so wherever your ape is just work on it and trust me that the more you do this, the lower you will get and it will really benefit you massively for hips, for your back, for your health and your movement. You can work on using your elbows to drive open the knees. You want to keep the spine as long as you can in this position. You can see that my bum's low because I'm down in a deep ape. Yes. And rest. Now we're going to do a crab. So you're going to sit on the floor with your feet hip width distance apart. You're going to take your hands behind your back. You're going to point the fingertips away from you and really push the heel of the hand into the floor. And now you're going to just drive the heel of the hand into the floor to elevate the bum a little bit off the floor. Keeping the eyes, we say, to the rising sun, looking ahead. Now bring the bum slightly back to the wrists and then pull the shoulder blades down and back. Think of opening up through your shoulders. Think of pulling them down and back. Keep the chin tucked in. You might feel this quite intensely through the arms and the wrists. That's normal. If you're not used to doing animal flow, that's completely normal. Your wrists will get stronger very quickly the more you practice it. And you just need to, to have good wrist yes. health and wrist care. So just release your wrists again. We're going back to beast, but this time we're going to travel in beast. We're going to start traveling forward and backwards, contralaterally. So that means right hand and left foot, left hand and right foot. So we'll set our beast. Exercise. Knees in line with navel, knees in line with wrist. So we're going to travel first, left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. See how I'm staying low? You want to stay low and you want to try and land the foot and hand together. 
and then we're going back. Opposite hand and foot working together. Contralateral limb lifts. You want to move the same distance, the hand and the foot. This will get you very strong. Working on core strength, shoulder strength, glute activation, spine health. And rest. Well done. Really good. Quick drink. We're going to work on ape. And we're going to travel in ape. So we're going to set a deep ape. We're going to laterally travel right and left. So we're going to put the hands to the side and travel. So hand, hand, foot, foot. Opposite hand, next hand, foot, foot. If you find that hard and you need to come up, just do this. Okay, just come a little bit higher. Hands down and feet jump across. Okay, go as low as you can, but make sure the heels connect to the floor when you finish in your AP end. Heels down. Keep going. Rest. Rest, well done. So now we're going to do our crab. We're going to travel in it, forward and back. So fingertips point away from us, knees hip width distance apart, shoulder blades down and back, chest lifted, eyes to the rising sun, Excellent. elevate, bring the bum back to the wrist, opposite hand and leg. So we'll go left hand, right foot, toe to heel, toe to heel as we go this way. Keep the bum low. Yes, your wrists are gonna feel it. That's normal. Now heel to toe, forward. Heel to toe, heel to toe. Keep those fingertips pointing away. Keep the chest lifted. Take your time. And back. Toe to heel, toe to heel, and rest. Well done. Now we're gonna do a loaded beast unload. So to set loaded beast, you're going to set a beast, how we did, and then you're going to push the bum back to the heels and take the arms forward as far as they'll go. Drop the head between the arms. Now you're going to just come forward, keeping the knees low, keep the chin tucked in all the time, arms straight, shoulder blades protracted. Come forward over the wrist and then return to loaded beast. Push back. Forward, knees low, and back, and again, forward, and back, take your time, keep those knees hovering off the floor, keep the chin tucked in, the head doesn't move out, well done. We're going to do front steps now. Heart rate should be coming up a bit. So we're going to do front steps from loaded beast. So you're going to get into a loaded beast like we just did. We're going to do a right leg front step. So we step the right foot forward and bring the right hand up in open palm position. And then we go back to loaded beast. Left leg. Keep going. Right. Left. Right, each rep, you must go back to a loaded beast. Keep it going. Rest. And rest. Okay, our last move is called a reaching under switch fake. We go from a deep ape. So we're going to sit in our deep ape and we're going to reach across with the opposite hand. So if I pull out the left leg reaching under switch bait, I'm going to reach the left arm, drop it down and bring that right arm up the hand. Back to ape, right arm. Left arm. Bring that right arm up behind you. Look, my knees stay low. 
That back heel comes up to allow you to rotate. You're dropping the weight forward into that straight arm. Keep going. And rest. Woo! That's a quad burner. So, take a little rest. Release your wrists. Workout reset. Going like this. And just relaxing through the wrists. And you can repeat that workout two to three times, four to five times, six times. However many times you want. And make sure you have done your wrist relief in between each set. So, and drink loads of water. Enjoy your workout.